Welcome to Big Data Pedia. Today we are going to discuss about Apache Airflow use cases with sample hands on the list. That will help you to make some diagram and shelling process with the Apache Airflow. Okay, that's where we can go to answer. So now I'm going to create a new Python file. Basic demo. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to input two operators. One is called bash operator. Another one is dummy operators. So this bash operator helps to execute shell commands. And this dummy operator is nothing will do. Uh, it helps to uh, looping the data according to the dad id so simply i just mentioning it with looping talk based on dad id okay and scheduling that with one minute interval Per contest. Okay, so now we can see with the codings first importing airflow. Okay, so from airflow, I'm going to import two operators airflow dot operators. Oh, sorry, dot. That's just bash operator. So I'm going to import with bash operator. So this will execute the bash command. So another one is which is copy. I'm creating with a dummy operator. It will help to grouping the task. Okay. So two operator I just included and scheduling I need to do it. So I need to import another one modeling for that modeling. So let's go airflow models. Import that. Okay. So this is going to be help. Uh, this is going to be. Uh, So this is, so I'm going to import another one models that is that. So that underscore basic. So the operator variable I'm just providing for the that. For that, we need to give minimum four variable. One is called task ID. Next one is called <coughs> description. So description is not a mandatory. The task ID is mandatory. Schedule interval time is a mandatory. And the start date. Like that, we can provide that end date, but start date is unmanaged. Okay, now I'm going to create with the diagram with the task ID. Mm. 
task that is providing the same for the code. We did a PDM underscore zero zero basic demo and then the descriptions. Descriptions execute shell command. Okay, third one is scheduling interval. Scheduling interval, I just follow with grant tab. For every one minute, so in front tab, this is the actual flow to execute the scheduling task for each every one minute. Okay, and then start date. Start date for start date. I am going to import another one more model. This is a date time model. Input from data. Input data. So this data and classes. I will import that actual data. Okay. So first year, month, and date we need to provide. So I, today is seventeenth September. So previous day I am going to provide as a start day. So from previous day onwards, it's going to be executed that. Oh, Okay, so task ID, description, schedule interval time, and start date. Four things I just provided now. And I'm going to execute that first. I'm creating the dummy operator. Okay, so task one. So this is the second one only. So I'm going to create a dummy operator. So dummy operator, just following the task. And just follow the DAG with DAG basics. Okay, so this is the actual DAG. So entirely the dummy operator is going to be group all the operate uh, all other operator into the same DAG basic, whatever is available. Okay, this is the task two I just provided, and task one is actually we are going to read our command. So that is bash operator. So bash operator is required. Three command. One is task ID. Another one is what is the shell script I am going to execute. And then third one is following with which DAG. Okay. So first, I'm giving the task ID. Shell number two execute. Okay. And then shell command we need to provide right to bash command. So simply I'm going to create now nothing is available. So in this demo part, I am going to create a simple one file and uh, based on the echo command, that file is going to be load the data whenever the job is going to be executed. Based on the time intervals. That is I'm going to create as a bash command. So echo. Welcome. Data PDF.
Okay, so I go welcome big data PDR. All these values basically load into the given directory. This is a local directory only. I'm going to do this one. Okay, and add flow dot txt is a file name i'm just creating as a new so all the execution data is going to be stored in that part of it okay now task two and task one we have created and we will be making some upstream operation so which is going to be for execute first and second like the bring it in make some task first is task one we need to execute once task one is completed we need to make some upstream with the task two Okay, this is the actual flow that we will be expected. Okay, that's it. We have scheduled properly right now, I guess. Okay, so already the diagram will be located in the same part. So I just refresh it and we'll see. So basic demo, zero zero basic demo, I just provide us. Okay, so basic demo. Everything is correct. Now it is coming. It will have basic demo that will be expected. So I just scheduling right now. Okay. So in this part, the file will be created and it will be print with this welcome big data video. So job is started and getting success. And this will be in queue. So directly we can see the diagonal algorithm, what is going to take. So shell execute and then grouping tag is ready to start. So graph view, you can see grouping date in that and then shell execute is ready to start. Okay, so three tasks is completed and uh, two is running. Uh, so I have flow.txt, that is our expected file name. Now it's created and we can print the value what was printed. So welcome to welcome big data PDA. We just printed. So two jobs is running on the one. If everything is succeeded, again again it will be print into the same job. Okay, two is scheduled, one is completed, and two is still running. Okay, now it's better. So, like that, whatever we have scheduled, it's going to be doing the operation in the background. Okay, so that's it. This is the sample course. I just re explained what we have done here. So uh, we will be using two operators. So one is called the bash operator, and another is called dummy operator. Bash operator helps to execute your shell command. Dummy operator helps to grouping your DAG uh, task. Okay. So DAG is a model. We will be important, and based on this DAG model, we will be making some shadows here. So based on the cron tab shadows, we just provided and started. We just provided with yesterday for the sample practice. And then task ID, 
task one and two I just given. Task one I just provided with the bash operator and task two I just provided with the dummy operator. So I just make this a linkage. First I need to execute the task one and then I need to execute to task two. Okay, like that I just schedule it. That's it. Thank you. If you have any doubts or anything that you'd like to mention, please provide your comments and below. Bye-bye.